Fifteen years ago, the World Summit on the Information Society, WISIS, was a groundbreaking summit held in anticipation of the vast, sweeping changes digital technologies would wreak on our society, our economy and our very way of life. In many ways, the summit was a forward-looking summit, predicting a time when we would read our news online rather than from a newspaper, find our way by GPS rather than from a map, when leaders and actors could talk more on Twitter or Instagram rather than on television. When pupils and teachers would spend more time studying online rather than in a classroom. Monitor the melting of the ice caps or find archaeological sites from satellite imagery from space rather than from the ground. The summit brought together many different players in recognition of how everyone is involved in shaping an internet beneficial for society and empowering for individuals. This multi-stakeholder model became accepted as the main way forward for the Internet and Information Society. It also emphasised to governments and policymakers that digital technologies will transform society and to benefit to the maximum, governments had to work with other actors to maximise connectivity across their country. Today, the issues raised by the summit remain more relevant than ever. But to really benefit from the digital revolution, we need you to join the WISIS movement and commit to connecting the unconnected to enable everyone to benefit from digital technologies wherever they are and however they live. In future, for example, we'll be identified by our faces rather than our fingerprints and money will be obsolete. We'll pay for goods from our digital wallet stored in our wristband. Make sure you have your say and join the WISIS movement to ensure that your views are taken into account in the future of the Information Society.